Hello, I am Mandy. I am one of the co-founders of the Bot Revival Babes. Um, today I'm going to simply walk you through how to get started with your nutrition plan. Um, first of all, I want you to know this is a lot easier than you think it is going to be. So don't get too intertwined thinking, trying to think outside the box. We can make this as simple as possible or we can change it and make it super fun and extravagant. It's just, it's all based on what you want to do and your needs and your goals for yourself. So first of all, probably like Christmas right now, you just got your box or you're about to get your box of your challenge pack with your containers and your Shakeology and your Beach Body On Demand, your shaker cup, maybe some equipment if you've got a program with equipment. But today I'm going to talk to you guys about these little containers. So these are your portion fix containers. All of the Beachbody programs have a nutrition plan that go along using these containers. So you get these once and you can get multiple sets of them, but they go for the entire, like this is what everything is based off of. So it's super easy because you don't have to switch back and forth in between methods or in between counting different things super easy so take out open up your containers and they should come with little labels and if you haven't gone through this yet your purple is your fruit red is your proteins these are my new sets some of them these are mixed so some of these are new some of these are old your blue is your healthy fat so i have my sticker already on here your green is your veggie your yellow is your carbohydrate slash starch, and your orange is seeds and dressings. Now they give you two of these because sometimes dressings with oil get a little mucky and it's harder to clean these out. So they wanna make sure that you have an extra one just in case you might be too lazy to clean it up. Let's be honest. <laughs> um, so, and for travel purposes. So um, put your labels on your containers. And then what I want you to do, if you haven't chosen a program yet, most of the time by now we've talked about your goals, we've figured out what program you're start with, maybe you're starting with a boot camp and I already have a program lined up ready for you. Whatever it is, I want you to log into your Beachbody On Demand. Figure out which program you are gonna start your journey with or whichever program is next for you, if this is a reset week for you or whatever it may be. Um, but in the top right hand corner, and you can do this, um, you can log in via app, on your iPad, iPhone, whatever, or you can also log in via web browser. So there are a couple of different options. Logging in via web browser gives you a couple more tools to search workouts by intensity, um, time, trainers, different things like that. On the app, you don't have that actual option. So you can log in either way, it does not matter. But the format of Beachbody On Demand is basically the same for both login methods. So when you have chosen your program, I want you to click on that program. So let's, for example, let's just do the 21 day fix because that is what these portion containers are focused on. So say you're doing the 21 day fix. Log, um, click on that program under Beach Body On Demand. In the top right hand corner, there is a little button that says program materials. This is in the exact same spot for every single program. In this folder is every tool that you are going to need. It gives you a quick start guide to tell you how to take your measurements, to tell you where to track them, to tell you it's a couple tips on getting started with the 21 day fix. And then you also have your nutrition guide, you have your calendar of workouts. Some of them have tracker sheets in them to help you keep track of your containers during the day. This is a great resource for you to use to print off things um, to read through your nutrition guide is kind of like your Bible. Um, even though you are watching this video, I do want you to read through your nutrition guide because there are things in there that I am not going to talk about that you need to know because each program is different. Each program has a different workload that are, you are putting on your body, it burns different calories, you're doing different things. All the nutrition guides and methods are different but it's all based around the portion container. So I'm just gonna go over these with you today. So in the quick start guide or the nutrition guide, I think it's in both for every single program, there is a calculation. This is your step one for anything. So you need to do the calculation 
based off of your current weight. Um, so when you get logged into the Body Revival Babes Challenge Tracker app, you should set up your profile with your photos and your goals. You need to take your measurements, you need to take your weight, and you need to take your before photos. This is like the scariest, worst part because it actually brings to reality where you don't want to be. But I don't want you to think of it that way. I want you to think of it as this is your starting point and you can only get better from here. So as hard as it is for that day one process, it needs to be completed. After you have done that, use that beginning weight to do your calculation to figure out which plan of content, which meal plan you are going to fall under. Um, most of these programs have like an A through D. Depending on which one you're doing, it may go a little bit further than that. Um, so again, you need to read your nutrition guide to tell you which bracket is going to be best for your goals. So most of the time, when you do your calculation, it's gonna put you in a bracket. Mainly, I, be, I stay in between plan B and C. Um, and that changes a little bit with each program, like I said before. But one thing I want to make sure of, every single time you complete a program, you need to recalculate because your body is gonna be consistently progressing, your metabolism is gonna be changing, your body is going to be changing, and you need to continue reevaluating where you're starting at when you finish a program, whether it's 21 days, whether it's a 30 day program, a 90 day program. If you're doing the 80 day obsession program, we actually continue working through the program, but we reevaluate for three different phases. So, um, like I'm doing the 80 day obsession program right now, I was in plan B. I recalculated at the end of it, and now I'm actually in plan C. So I'm eating more food to continue losing the weight that I want. Now, many people have this misconception that in order to lose weight, you need to eat less and work out more. This is false. If you stop eating, and if you are not eating the proper caloric intake, your body will go into starvation mode, and it will be guessing when am I going to eat next? When is she or he going to feed me again? And what it's going to do is anything that you put into your body, it is going to hold on to. You do not want that. So these portion fix containers give us the opportunity throughout the day to track what we are eating, eat every couple hours, small meals, and stay on track. There are a couple tools that I want to share with you also that's going to make life a lot easier as you are learning this because in the beginning, it can be kind of difficult. You're, it's just something new. It's just how it's going to be. By the end of your first 21 to 30 days, it's going to be a piece of cake. I promise. So um, to track your containers during the day, you can actually download. There is an app that you can get on your phone. It's called the 21-Day Fix app. But it's basically, I'll pull it up right here. So it's, it's got the interface of the 21 day fix, but you can actually go in here and um, set it to your meal plan of what contain, how many containers of color you can have each day. So that when you sit down to have your meal, you can check one off and it calculates it for you as your day goes on. So if you get done by the end of the day um, and you're not quite sure what you can have or you haven't tracked it, it's already in here, you can just go back. And this also keeps track of your workouts. It's got the calendar implemented in it. So if you're doing a 21 day fix, this is like the perfect tool for you to start with. Use this, you can use this also for any program. You just have to recount, you just have to reset the container counts based on your needs for your meal plan. So this is a great way to do it. There's also a paper format that you can print off in the Beachbody On Demand program materials. The uh, programs come with tracker sheets, like tally sheets that you can print off and put them on your refrigerator or you can laminate it if you are at home all the time and you can like mark it off as you go to your refrigerator. It's whatever is gonna work best for you, but somehow you need to keep track um, or you need to write out your meal plan. I have made a personalized menu planner for you guys in the group files of the Bod Revival Babes that you can use to put together your meal plans. This is your tool, use it at your discretion. The only thing I ask is that you don't give it out because this is 
specifically for you. You are in this very special group of women who are working to better themselves. And this is something that we like to keep private and this is something that we work very hard for. So please respect that of us. Um, but so another thing I wanna to talk to you guys about <laughs> with these containers is when you fill them up, so let's say, let's see, let's go through a meal plan here really quickly. And I'm gonna do another video of how to put your meal plans together because that can be the hardest thing, trying to figure out what to eat on certain days. And I have a lot of tips for you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna go <clears throat> into the program materials here and for the 21 day fix, I'm in the 21 day fix right now, I'm gonna go to the eating plan. Hopefully it will load for me. <laughs> But so as this waits, in also in the program materials, there is a food list. This is a great thing for you to print out, especially if you or your family have picky eaters in them. It's a great tool, print it out, and either cross off things that you're not going to eat or circle and highlight things that you are going to eat. So that when you go to put your meal plans together, you already have what you can eat in front of you, you just have to put it together. It makes it so much easier. Okay, so. This is loaded, so I'm gonna go to, let's, for just for example, let's do plan B. This is the one that I have mainly used. So in plan B, your calorie intake range is 1,500 to 17, 1,800 calories, basically. So you get four veggies, so four of these, you get three fruits, four, proteins, three carbohydrates, one healthy fat, one seeds and dressings, and four teaspoons of oils and nut butters. Now, when you fill these up, you need to be able to put the, put the lid on top of it. So that's the rule that Autumn has is you can't, so if like you're filling up with this with grapes and you've like got your grapes over the top and you can't shut the lid, you've got too many grapes in there. Um, Again, in the food list, there are um, a couple of specific things, like um, your almonds go in your healthy fats, but you don't fill this up with almonds. An actual serving size of almonds is 12 almonds. So there are a couple of things, and this is why I say you need to read the nutrition guide so that you're not overdoing it with your healthy fats and stuff like that. Um, so make sure to read through that so that you know. But that food list is there to help you and to be a tool for you as well. Um, the food list is also put together in hierarchy. So what that means is the foods that are at the top of the list for each container are the most have the most dense nutrition and are going to be the most beneficial for you and your body. So when you're putting together your meal plan, look at those. If you need to make some changes or you're not feeling the energy that you want to, maybe you need to look at something a little bit higher on those lists so that you're getting a little bit more throughout your day to help you with your energy levels. Um, sometimes people feel like they're not eating enough or they're eating too much. Um, if this is the case, please reach out to your personal coach. And the most important thing, the one thing that we're gonna first ask you to do is to write down every single thing that you are eating during your day. This is why I made the menu plan for you guys to write out um, and put together your meals and your grocery lists. We like to also post our meal plans and our grocery lists for you guys so that if something happens during the weekend and your Sundays are screwed up and you don't have time to plan, you already have something at your fingertips and you can, it's just a go-to backup meal plan for ideas. So we like to give you guys those options um, that's in the file section of the Bod Revival Babes Facebook page. So um, I just wanted to break these containers down for you a little bit. I am going to do and how to get started quickly. So make sure to do your calculation, figure out how many containers you're gonna have every day and then we will go through meal planning and I want you to watch that video next.